All right, ladies and gentlemen, so today we've got another Anime Unlimited video. Now, something you guys may already notice is my voice. As of me recording this, I am currently sick. I'm not as sick as I was a few days ago, but yeah, mainly what you're gonna be hearing is just my voice is different, mainly because my nose is a bit stuffy, and then I might sneeze a few times here and there. But besides that, yeah, it's not that bad. So yeah, hopefully you guys don't mind. But just a few minutes ago, Anime Unlimited did decide to drop their next update, which they did clarify this month was pretty much going to be a One Piece month. And so their last update was Sanji. And with this one, they decided to add Law. So yeah, just like I did in my last video, I'm going to do a quick showcase just showing y'all what Law has to offer, his moves and everything. And then after that, we'll get onto some rank matches. So with all that being said, let's get onto the showcase. All right. So now that we're here, we can actually move on. So here's Law, best Devil Fruit IMO. That's kind of funny. And he costs 50k. So that is a pretty steep price i'm not gonna lie but yeah we'll buy them and yeah all right so in terms of law's actual model i do like that they decided to make the cape actually like flow that is kind of nice and yeah law looks pretty good in terms of his passive something i realized is he doesn't actually have a passive so yeah that is something to know law doesn't have a passive and i actually went ahead to check on sanji too and sanji also doesn't have a passive unless they're just not saying it yeah sanji doesn't have a passive and neither does law which is kind of weird since like i said basically every other character in the game pretty much has a oh wait never mind killua doesn't have one either Either. see i didn't actually know that i thought every character in the game just had a passive but no only some of them do okay yeah ignore what i was saying then law not having a passive really isn't that crazy glad to see that they did actually decide to add like his actual you know explanation on release because they didn't do that with sanji but just like any other game it looks like law does have different moves based on if you use his moves in the room and if you don't so what i'm gonna do is use the moves without the room first and then after that i'll use the moves in the room so the first move we've got is Sturbin which is a mean combo ender okay looks like it does around like 10 damage actually the next move we've got is injection shot damn okay <laughs> it's basically just another combo ender and it just sends them flying and injection shot is a guard break and then the last move we have is counter shock so what's this okay oh that's actually really cool all right so he makes like a little mini room and then he grabs that's dope and it also looks like you can use it as a combo extender so just to test this out real quick if i land counter shot can i m1 after this yeah you can so that's literally a combo extender and yeah those are basically all of law's moves without the room so now we're gonna put up the room which room is in fact your first ability and let me see something i need to test out real quick if i hold it does it get bigger so let me see if i hold the room no it doesn't look like you can hold it you can only click it once yeah okay so it is just this base size it really isn't that big honestly which is bad because you got to remember most people are probably not going to fight you in your room i mean it does have a low cooldown so i guess that's something but yeah besides that it is a pretty small bubble first move we've got is shambles which i assume is a tp yeah it's pretty much always a tp in every game besides that we've got talked so if i use two okay so it summons rocks into the air and what can you shambles these yeah you can that's actually pretty wait i shambles the clone by accident hold on i want to know if you can shambles the rock so let me see if i'm looking at the rock no you can't okay that's actually weird i thought you would have been allowed to but yeah it looks like you can't do that besides that though you attack you lift up rocks in the air and what if i click it a second time they get launched yeah okay they literally do get launched and from the description they are a guard break and the rocks are mouse aim so wherever you're aiming with your mouse that's where the rocks will actually go besides that we've got radio knife so what is this is that a grab i can't actually tell hold on okay no it's literally just a combo ender okay so you use it does some damage and it knocks him back interesting all right i don't really know law's moveset is kind of looking weird right now real quick though how much damage does talk do if you actually hit the whole thing okay it actually does a decent amount and it looks like that might combo extend but yeah now that we've gone over that we can go on to the next thing which is the awakening so if i click g okay that was actually a really cool animation so what he put like a bubble on his sword let me see does this do anything special no it looks like your m1s are still the same but all right let's see so something i want to check is do his moves still change in a bubble or not okay it looks like he doesn't even have any different so can i even use my move no they all oh okay so puncture you can still use and this one okay so your four you don't need to be in your room for but the other ones you do so i'm gonna use room and yeah now the room is significantly bigger first move we've got is amputate so it's quite literally just a combo extender. Yeah, you cut him in half. 
and it looks like yeah you could just combo off of that so that's a free combo extender and i'm pretty sure it bypasses block if i remember correctly yeah it does literally bypass block so you could just land that and it's free next move we've got is thorn okay so you just summon a rock from the ground that probably guard breaks and yeah it does in fact guard break the next move we got is gamma knife okay it knocks him back now i wonder if with that ragdoll can you combo off of this you probably can honestly oh wait no they have like iframes okay so it just does a lot of damage but then the last move we've got is puncture will which i'm pretty sure is your ultimate and remember this is the move you can actually use outside of your room so if i click four okay that's pretty freaking cool and you might be able to combo extend but i don't know because it seemed like he had uh iframes right there but yeah that is basically law all in all i don't really know how to feel about him his moves don't seem that bad but he is kind of wonky i guess that's why you could see down here he does have a five star difficulty i don't know we'll just have to see when we actually get into some rank matches so with all that being said let's get on to the rank matches all right guys so we got the first match here now honestly i don't really know how this is gonna go mainly because the way people normally play against law is exactly like this so they know that law you know normally in pretty much every game he's in does in fact need his uh, room in order to actually do anything and so what that ends up doing is it just makes people stand outside of the bubble most of the time good news is it looks like the first opponent we have here isn't actually afraid to you know get up and dirty in the bubble pause on that which is good because like i said that is normally the thing that uh counters law in most games but if i could just land an m1 on this dude there we go counter shot oh crap i don't have my bubble here yeah that's bad bop knock him down into sturban here oh damn it thought that was gonna be able to work but also it looks like going for counter shock actually cancels your room that you put up that's pretty weird or i think i was actually outside of my room when i did it that has to be what it was all right i'm waiting for this dude to come in my room because there we go radio knife free damage radio knife is a pretty good confirm at the end of a combo i do have tact and counter shock up which are your main um combo tools so there we go i should be able to land a talk right here talk there we go okay so i see what it is so you need to have talk just set up automatically shambles what up my boy yeah not gonna lie don't really know in what situation oh yeah he tried to combo me oh it has super armor that was a perfect situation wait can you use shambles mid combo no you can't okay wait let me see shambles oh okay well i died <laughs> yeah i was saving the rocks for when he tried to come and attack me because they do have a little bit of stun on them but he ended up hitting me anyway so that sucks all right maybe he doesn't know that we can actually use tact outside of the bubble so bop tact and there we go bop bop there we go we might be able to kill him with this so counter shock is bro what all right man i just got robbed and what is that range on luffy dog all right escape that there we go i knew he would try and hit me yeah so counter shock is kind of weird sometimes it's a combo extender and other times it isn't i don't really know all right i'm gonna see maybe i can snipe him with tact outside of the room snipe I, I missed crap counter shock does have a uh, super armor on it so maybe i can do something with that i do also have injection shot which does go through block oh my god always gotta remember luffy has extended m1 range which is really annoying injection shot oh damn you can just run into my hit grab oh no it didn't come out man Sturban here yep that does give me he lives no way bro okay bro this luffy m1 range is pissing me off man holy crap right, i'm gonna just mash injection shot and hope he gets hit no we actually are probably dead here Oh, we live injection shot oh he got hit let's go okay if i can build up my awakening in time we might still have a chance gear five honestly isn't even that crazy so i'm not too scared about that i just need to land an m1 on this dude but he does have a lot higher range than me so it's harder see at this point i'm gonna try and use my bubble to my advantage since i can kind of just outrange him right now all right that was just really bad oh come on you mean to tell me the rocks didn't hit right there bruh oh there we go i didn't even actually expect to hit him can't even lie but let's see can i actually combo this fine Finally. there we go bop bop radio knife here there we go big damage i'm at 70 percent if i could do something like that again we can code i need to set up my tag there we go because now i can actually get a combo if i am one him since tag does have a bit of thingy if i can land a a nice um down sam combo no that's so bad okay he missed big does he have end lag on that oh he does huge okay we can do this the rocks are gonna disappear which does stink but ladder into this okay i've got to set up a new room okay good he didn't counter me that's so big we're so close to being able to wake him bro this is winnable nah i don't care now i'm playing in my bubble bro see the bubble is helping me outrange him which i need and so yeah i'm gonna take that now you can have the bubble bro i could just spawn another one like it ain't that serious little bro all right we can tact right there send the rocks on him that's a stun bop bop oh my god 
We might be able to kill him here and awaken. Hold on. Bop, bop. Oh my god, that's so big. We killed him and can awaken. Holy crap. All right, yeah, I'm just going to awaken because Luffy honestly does not play. So, yeah. If I'm being completely honest, I don't even really remember what my... Uh, hit him with Thorn right there, free damage. I don't even really remember what my actual um, awakening like move is. Amputate. Oh, okay. We can dodge that. He has end lag on that. Wait. Oh, he has uh, the dodge hockey. Okay. Yeah, I don't even really remember what my moves are because I haven't awakened in so long. I can room this. Yep. There we go. Hit him with Thorn. Free 25 damage, which is honestly insane. If I can hit him with like one. Oh, does this kill? I don't know if this kills, but I think it might kill. Let's see. Bop. Oh, he's not. He's, he's, he's alive. Guys, he's alive. Guys, he's alive. Oh, my God. He's going to get to awaken now too, bro. Okay. Note to self yeah see that was what i didn't need to happen bruh bruh i didn't uh, i thought i i needed to test out at least if it did uh you know like thingy or not bruh that's the issue okay we need to play back here if i land an m1 we can just that's so bad oh man okay land my room right here okay we just need to stall out we could lose this shambles here mess him up all things to just stall it's something that law isn't even bad at there we go into the grab all right we should be able to combo off of this what he did oh i guess he got like a super armor move crap man injection shot what's happening oh well okay that's actually pretty bad because we really did not take much life off this dude, man. I can't believe that, bro. If I would have known that didn't combo extend, that literally would not have hit me. Like, straight up, bro. No, I should have went for my grab right there, man. Suit is just mashing out moves, but it's working. Oh, my God, bro. I'm in a, I'm in a damn wall. Bop, bop, into the wall. Set up the tact right here. Okay, good news is it is winnable now because he did end up running out of his awakening hit him with the rocks can i combo over that no we can't okay it's not that bad it's not that bad we can still win this but 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 radio knife but set up the bubble over here start getting some more space no we're dead man yeah and he canceled my grab so yeah we, we're just dead here oh man that sucks bro we definitely should have won that if i would have known the alt doesn't uh combo extend he wouldn't even have awakened man but ggs to this dude all right we got the next match here and we're against a law mirror match oh my god all right well let's set up our room and then i wonder can he use his moves in my room i don't actually know no, he can't because, yeah, it would have given it to him right there. So, but yeah, even though we did end up losing that first game, it honestly wasn't even that bad. Like, it was actually pretty good. How was he able to block? Oh, wait, so room does give you high frames then. Okay. Yeah, even though we did end up losing that um, last match, it didn't actually end up that bad. What I mean by that is, you know, we got to show a lot of the things off and we definitely would have been able to win. Hit him with the rocks. That stuns. Yeah, rocks is a really good way of um rocks is a really good way of uh stopping your opponent injection shot there we go i was honestly hoping he was gonna block still bop yep he didn't know he wasn't counting bop bop we won't be able to kill him here though i don't have any moves so unless i can wall bang him bop attack and then launch them oh my god that was actually beautiful let's go also shout out to this dude he was piecing me up without the room it looks like you can just true combo into like being able to set it up which is kind of crazy bop bop into the grab thank you m1 m radio knife here and now we're perfectly fine all right set up tack set up the shambles we actually got behind him into the rocks that stuns a little bit wall slam him back away we're doing a lot of damage here but yeah i was i had a feeling he probably would go for something like that i wanted to back up but couldn't oh yeah we're dead here because this is a free combo extender unless he messes it up oh huge he actually messed it up holy crap bro shambles all right if i can land tack tries to combo me oh unlucky bop block for me oh, yeah and i'm dead okay well good news is this dude is low health so we can use that to our advantage i'm gonna see if we can talk right here yep he doesn't know that is indeed a guard break if you can get all the rocks to land and we probably just kill him right here but radio knife and he's dead all right we do also have our awakening so but i'm gonna see i'm gonna save it until i just get low on health until i get low on health or um what he was on five and ones what the hell okay i'm gonna save it until i get low on health or he pops his that way we don't lose the advantage that badly yeah this dude is piecing us up right now so like i said if i get to low hp then i will definitely be uh popping it but all right we've got tax set up bop, bop. summon the rocks there we go didn't actually mean to do that though yeah so i did the fifth m1 by accident bop, bop. got behind him there we go counter shock i do also have injection shot which i can use injection shot here there we go and i will be awakening soon i'm gonna just awaken right here yeah why not all right so if i can land an m1 on this dude he actually just loses like straight up that's a oh he's dead 
yeah because yeah this does enough damage he should just be dead from this and if he doesn't we just play yeah so there we go <laughs> that ultimate does a crap ton of damage and if he did live i was just gonna play for my thorns which guard breaks so ggs all right so depending on how long this one is this might be the last one we've got another law mirror match but i mean what to expect it is the first days out but yeah i've actually been like really hungry during this whole recording so because of that i do think we did no that's unlucky i have to dodge his rocks Ooh. okay there we go we dodged his rocks so the majority of the damage that he could do is basically gone what oh my god but we're just having a whole freaking m1 fest over here man okay can i set up my room in here all right there we go so now we can just piece up in each other's rooms i'll take this all right set up the tact right here um honestly i can't tell which room is his and which one is mine okay so the outer part is his oh did he shambles me oh yeah because i'm more in his room oh my god bro this dude just be getting so lucky bro i've been so close to being able to m1 him for the longest but yeah i will say the double law i didn't pb that okay i think he guard broke me the double law is a bit annoying because the bubbles are just like intertwining and i can't really see anything okay bro i shambles in or i roomed into shambles or shambles into room which is not what i expected but this dude's a crackhead what? i don't understand his play style he just goes in at random intervals like what what the hell was that and it worked oh my god oh so you get super armor during that okay noted yeah we just seen him put up his room and he got complete super armor while that happened okay I set up the tag. I want to see if I can uh, shambles this dude. But I, I, again, I can't tell. Set up the rocks on myself. Wow, he actually managed to block that. We can M1 there. Five. Yep, there we go. Okay, if he would have blocked, he would have got guard broken, which would have been huge. Bop, bop, bop. Radio knife. Okay, we're kind of cooking. We do have counter shock, too. Shambles. We went behind him. Oh, he used the suit. That would have been so cool, man. All right, I'm actually not going to go in my room. I want to see if I can combo this dude outside of the room. Because if I can, that would be, like, the best thing. Where is this dude? Bop, bop, bop. Sturbin. I think we can combo off of this. Uh, we would have been able to, but... Injection shot. Oh, bro, we had the exact same idea. Yeah, the suit's M1 pattern is just so... <laughs> like, where are you going, gang? Okay, you want to come on up, buddy? Like, what's happening? All right, I'll just use tact. Okay, no, he did manage to get up. All right, tact right there. Bop, bop, and he's dead. All right, there we go. So we did end up losing our first stock, but we pretty much evened it out. I've got almost max HP. So yeah, we could definitely win this. But like I said, the mirror match is pretty rough because it is kind of hard to see. All right, I'm going to see if I can land a um, down slam into like shambles and then go behind him. Wow, that actually worked perfectly. The problem is he ended up using... Uh, the freaking room and it gave him super armor so summon my tag now this is just whoever plays better with the rock so all right he missed right there i've still got my rock so see if he can combo me rocks right there bob no bro. i'm always on my fifth m1 when i don't actually mean to thank you free damage i'm gonna set up my room in his that way we both have pretty much an even playing field oh my god that actually worked what he went for our grab okay not what i expected i'm close to my awakening if i could just play around that that'd be perfect Sturbin here wait what oh what oh i thought i went for wait i did go for tact what the hell that was not my plan there okay he did try and hit me that's big he doesn't have his big moves right now so we might be able to kill him with just straight m1s actually now thinking about it what what do you mean i did oh, okay man nah the game's lying right there i can't even lie if i can set up my tech yep okay that's what i was hoping didn't happen i mean the good news is he did use his awakening first so if i can just stall his then we're kind of good we're actually like kind of gucci i can't even lie all right he misses that we go for the rocks we can combo this remember this is all just stall for his awakening so works perfectly fine with me what okay i don't understand so counter shock really just isn't true is is that like how this works I, I don't know what the hell were you planning shambles keep stalling keep stalling he's on the aggressive okay we oh wait he might be able to one combo me no no no, no. i have to awaken i have to awaken i have to awaken i have to awaken no because of the ult okay yeah yeah i have to i have to because the ult could easily kill me so i i quite literally like have to awaken thorn wow we missed no that's so bad man oh you're dead okay so there we go he's on his last stock or no he's on his second to last so this will kill him and then now all we have to do is deal with his last stock and i'm in awakening so i have the best chance of being able to do that all right go over here do that thorn free damage my awakening is about to run out i need to see if i can all the rocks somehow damn he's not using the rocks bro oh no i'm probably dead here i'm mashing amputate that's so big holy crap gamma knife big damage into thorn okay i mean we did get some huge damage though so i'm not even mad that we probably uh yeah we weren't we aren't gonna be able to kill him but the huge damage is huge damage so is he just trying to go back to his room i think so we can combo off that there we go we won holy crap man 
All right, yeah, he should be dead off this. Yep, there we go, man. Oof. I will say the long mirror matches are not fun. All right, like I said, since that game was so long, that is going to be the last match. All in all, I actually quite enjoy Law. I can't lie, in the training, I did think he wasn't actually going to be that crazy. But after doing some games with him, yeah, I could definitely see the potential. People do still do the strategy, which I thought people would do, where they just don't fight you in your bubble. The good news is, in this game, Law isn't actually that bad out of his bubble. He does have some true combos, especially if you're against a wall. And he can still do a lot of damage. But yeah, it also looks like just the community in general doesn't mind fighting you in your bubble as much. But a lot of people did just choose to stand out of my bubble. So when that happens, it does suck. Besides that, though, Law has some pretty good combos if you are in your bubble. He could easily do like 60% of your HP, which is insane. And also, I could definitely see why they gave him a 5-star rating, bro. The amount of outplays you can do with Shambles or your Tact is actually insane. Shambles, you can sometimes just TP behind the opponent if they're really close to you and just get a free combo like that. Tact is easily insane because of the fact that it guard breaks and stuns you could use it as either a combo extender you could use it if somebody's about to like come and attack you you can then use it because they'll get guard broken if they try and block and it stuns so yeah that's honestly probably the best move on the whole kit and then the three and four are all right three is just good damage you know combo ender and the four sometimes combo extends i don't even know it feels like you could just mash a move out of it in terms of the awakening it's pretty good because your room is so big and then you just have that giant like 25 damage spike you can just launch out all you have to do is literally land that once or twice and then if you get them in an m1 combo you just use your ult and they die so yeah all in all pretty strong again sorry about my voice i am sick not much i can do about it hope you guys didn't mind throughout the video besides that though if you guys enjoyed and want to see any more then please do let me know down in the comments also make sure to like and subscribe since it really does help me out and i really do appreciate it before i actually the video i just want you guys to know that your boy does have a discord so if you want to join that then go ahead and do so link should be down in the description and yeah with all that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see y'all in the next one peace